Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence, but we have compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, I'm bringing you a fragrance review on a 2021 release from a fragrance house that I personally feel is underrated. Yes, you heard me correct. Do you know what I'm talking about? You likely do. If you've seen the title, you know what I'm talking about. Today, we're diving into the house of Rihanna, and today, we're talking about Tonka nutmeg now to date if you've seen one rerun a bottle then you've seen them all okay this is what you get when it comes down to a rerun a bottle you get this uh linen not i guess it's not really linen it's like this string all right maybe like this three or four millimeter string that wraps the entirety of the bottle and then you get this little rope with the rerun and parfums um tag on the side now here's the deal there's no cap with this thing you get like a little placeholder i guess you can call it to stop it from spraying but you actually get the name of the fragrance down here at the bottom where it says tonka nutmeg this only becomes a problem when you have multiple fragrances from the company and you got to figure out which one you're going to wear the only real difference that i found so far comes in the form of um, cherry on top as the string there is red so it's very easy to figure out which fragrance you are spraying on. Now, as I mentioned, I personally feel that this fragrance house is underrated. I think last year in 2020, I did a video talking about underrated fragrance houses. If I had to dive into one where I would recommend, it would be this one here because there's so many unique fragrances there that I think they have a great thing going on. All right, so with a name like Tonka Nutmeg, what can you expect within this fragrance? Obviously, you can expect Tonka and Nutmeg, and you actually get that in the top of this fragrance. In the top, you get Tonka Bean, Vanilla, and Nutmeg. In the mid here, you're going to get uh, Black Pepper, you get Saffron, you get Orris Root, and some Iris there as well. And in the base here, you get some Caraway, you get some Musk, and you also get some Styrax. All right, so what does all of that mean and what does this smell like? Well, what I'll tell you with this fragrance, generally speaking, you're going to get this amber, spicy, resinous fragrance that is pretty much enjoyable across the board. I think one of the things that I enjoy most about the rerun at lineup is just the quality of their fragrances in terms of the ingredients used. Now, I mentioned some of the ingredients here, but I also left out some of the ingredients that were going to be kind of challenging for me so i just i'll put them on the screen somewhere but um what i'll say is that i really get high quality feel from these rerun fragrances specifically with this one as i mentioned you're going to get this uh, amber spicy resinous feel with this fragrance and i think it's really translates well now for me when i sprayed this fragrance so in a time of wearing it I was really enjoying the scent. Now, what I'll say about this fragrance is that when it starts off, um, this fragrance starts off in a way where it's like, it's not um, super mature, but it's not like a juvenile fragrance at all, okay? So it's maybe someone who's going to be ideal on wearing this fragrance is probably going to be like 30 plus is will be the ideal age range if you're looking to rock this fragrance that's just my personal thoughts and opinions doesn't mean you can't be younger and wear this fragrance no but i think when someone's looking to get in the game with this one if you're watching and determining if this one is for you i think that the maturity level when smelling the scent has to be like 30 plus all right now as i mentioned that this fragrance is this amber spicy feel and on first spray of this fragrance you're going to get some spice and it's not like an overtly spicy fragrance but it's um definitely has this genuine feel to it it has like the subtle hint of spiciness that kind of carries out through the entire life of this fragrance and as this fragrance begins to transition from that top where you're going to get that tonka where you're going to get that nutmeg that again add that spice there and that vanilla you begin to get some of that freshness as this fragrance begins to carry on now i want to be clear here when i say you get some of that freshness as the fragrance carries on it's not like super fresh right and if you really think about it some of those notes there in the mid that orris root 
um, that black pepper, none of those things really lend to a freshness. In fact, I would say that the iris there, um, because of the notes that are within that same mid of this fragrance, you're getting that orris fruit, you get that Irish, you're gonna go ahead and get that black pepper. Um, that's kind of where that, that Irish cuts in just a bit, and I think that it kind of separates it and stops the fragrance from going too far in the deep end of that spice and resinous feel. And finally, in the base of this fragrance is where you get that that musk. Um, and again, it's it has this resinous feel there that is enough, okay? <laughs> so if you had like this concern about, well, you know, B, I'm not a huge fan of resinous fragrances. It kind of puts me in the mindset of something that's super strong and unappealing. Um, you're right and you're wrong. This fragrance does have this super, I won't call it super strong, but it's long lasting and you have to be careful with the sprays on this one because this fragrance does have some projection power and it's a unique scent in itself, right? So it's not like something that I personally feel is going to be um, mass appealing. This one definitely has this niche quality to it, but I do feel there is a correct situation and a right time to wear this fragrance for optimal performance in terms of compliment factor. I think no matter when you spray this fragrance, it's going to work in terms of the power, in terms of projection, longevity, sillage, those things are going to be there for sure. I really don't have much of a problem with that when it comes to most of the rerun of fragrances and I don't find that this one is going to be much of a problem either. So in the beginning of this review, we talked about when you would wear this fragrance. No, we actually talked about who would wear this fragrance, right? We talked about 30 plus would rock this fragrance. Um, but when would you wear this fragrance, all right? So for me, this fragrance is going to be best suited for the fall and winter. Again, you got the amber, you got the spice, that resinous feel there with a subtle hint of sweetness that I think will help cut through that cold weather, all right? When it's cooler outside, you can spray this thing on and be good. I don't think I would uh, wear this one to the office much. If I did, um, I would have to go easier on the sprays. I told a story in one of the previous videos about this one that I sprayed this one on um, and I sprayed it on again. And my son was like, hold up, dad, my youngest son. <laughs> he like that. You got too much on, all right? This one does project it pops off of the skin. So if you're returning to work and you are in a cubicle, type of position, uh, this is probably one that you, if you wear this fragrance, you want to go easier on the sprays just to make sure, um, you know, you're not causing any HR issues to pull you in the office to talk to you about your fragrances, all right? Um, all in, I would recommend this fragrance for, again, someone who's more mature, um, you're looking for a fragrance that's a little bit different and um, that's not everyone is going to wear. Do I think this fragrance is bad? No, I enjoy the fragrance, but I don't think it has the mass appeal that would make it like a top fragrance all in, but I definitely think it's a good scent. If you're looking to pick this one up or try it, holla at crystalfragrance.com or you can also holla at Dior Parfums. You know that these two companies uh, do have these fragrances and traditionally when I'm looking for them, that's who I'm hollering at. So be sure to check them out. This fragrance was sent to me for review um, via Dior Parfums, but you can also, again, check this one out at crystalfragrance.com. I'll leave both of the Door Parfums fragrances sites down below, which will be Door Prestige and as well as doorparfums.com, all right? And obviously, again, Crystal, we all know her, so check her out. Everything is listed and linked down below for you. Let me know how you feel about these fragrances down below. Again, projection on point, performance on point for sure. Um, listen, never had a problem with performance on these things for sure. Be sure to check them out. Let them know that I sent you, if you can. I'm not sure if I have codes. So if I do, I'll leave a link to list it down below. If not, it is what it is. As always, I'm your boy, Big B, B, and hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the gap, damn.